first guest is a gifted actor, producer, and director who has worked on such films as Romancing the Stone, Twins, The War of the Roses, and Aaron Brockovich. His new movie, Duplex, is in theaters now. Please welcome Emmy Award winner Danny DeVito. <laughs> This is great. Got, you, got your own little show here. It's nice. Really nice. I'd do it whether we were on the air or not. I'd yeah, just, just I, hang out with people. I, it's a fun thing. Chit chat. It, it feels good. Thanks for being here. Oh, I, I thought it was a, a British thing. You, you were doing an Italian thing. It's both sides and then ends kiss, on. Kiss on both sides, yeah. <laughs> no, I thought it was a British thing. No, no, no. And another like our, Italian like, thing, yeah, too. We yeah. just keep mm. doing that to each other. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now, hey. <laughs> Do you remember the first time we met? No. Okay. <laughs> no, but I seriously, when, when... I don't know, but you said we met doing some dangerous sport. Oh, I sport. think it was like some kind of extreme sport, didn't I, we? Well, I don't do extremes. What were you doing? Mm. I, I can't imagine I you know, do extremes. I have a feeling... <laughs> what do you do? No, I mean, I, I was thinking like it was like bungee jumping or, or f you know, did do you, you ever base jump? No, do you do that? No. Well, then how would we have met? I don't know. <laughs> No, I think, I, I can't remember the first, it might have been a restaurant. Oh, yeah, I yeah. think it was. It's probably a restaurant. We were eating something yeah. that was very rare. Yeah. Maybe that was the extreme yeah. thing. I mean, it's like, yeah, something weird. I can't remember yeah. I exactly didn't... when we, Cause someone we said... first bumped into each other. I don't uh, know. Yeah, it's a while ago. Yeah, you know. but anyway, because yeah. I, I feel like I know you, but I don't know you. I know yeah. everything about your, your work, and I've peeked oh. in your windows, but yeah. I don't know everything. <laughs> So you've, this is what's weird that I just found out. That's what I love about the show. I learn new things. About you, people. Yes, you mm -hmm. were a hairdresser before that you got into it. I'll tell you, what, what, like the deal was this. I was, yeah, that's true. You were in makeup and. I, well, you know, it was like my sister. I have a, a great, I have two sisters. I'm the baby. My sisters were like, you know, really, they took care of me. They were like my mom, you know, that kind of thing. And, uh, my oldest sister had a beauty parlor. So I was at a high school, and I was hanging around Asbury Park. I'm from New Jersey, Asbury Park, New Jersey. Yeah, yeah right. And my sister says, why don't you go to beauty school? And I said, what are you, what are you nuts? You're out of your mind? Me? I'm going to go to beauty school? I mean, what, what, you know, I mean, you're a beautician. You know, she had a shop. Right. I said, well, I'm like, why I'm not going to go to... How old were you? I was like 18, 19. Mm -hmm. So uh, she says, what are you doing? You're bumming around town. You're not doing anything. Why don't you just go to the school? I'll pay for it. Then when you're done, you can come and work for me. And I balked, like, big time. I wouldn't go. You know, I didn't want to uh -huh. go. And then finally she enrolled me in the school. And the first day I go to the school, there's, like, 40 girls and two guys. <laughs> and I said, this ain't going to be bad. You yeah. know what I'm saying? <laughs> and uh, so I did it. You didn't stay there long. No, I say, you know, a couple of years. Because then that's how you started acting. Well, she, my sister actually uh, suggested that I learn how to do makeup. Because she's, you know, like pushy. You know, she's like, told me what to do. So she said, I, I found this place where you can learn how to do makeup. I said, I mean, and you know, this is like one thing to be washing heads all day long. You know, but anyway, I went. And, but the only way you could get into school is you had to enroll as an actor. Because it was a makeup kind of program in the school. So I said, fine. So I had to do a monologue. I'd never seen a play. It was like, wow. So I did the monologue and I became an actor. And that's it. It's just, that, it's just that easy. And then, and then you somehow, I don't know how this happened, but while you were in school, you were Michael, du you and Michael Douglas Well, it's like it cut to like, you know, many years later, I was already acting, doing off-Broadway, off-off-Broadway work. And I went to this place in Connecticut, Eugene O'Neill Foundation. It's a really great place where playwrights get to you know, show off their, their plays and actors. And then Michael, so Michael was there one summer and we became good friends. And the next thing you know, we were sharing an apartment in New York. And you know, Michael was a great roommate because I am a big slob and Michael is like very, very neat. In what? fact, he's like, what I love best about him was we do laundry and he would fold. Yeah. Oh. He's the best folder. Really? Yeah. That's important. It's very important to have a good, neat folder yeah. so it goes because in the drawers. Because it's, it's even more wrinkled. If someone's not folding it right, you unfold it to wear it, 
and it's it's wrinkled even it though looks, it's been it's folded. It's horrible. It's yeah. not good. Yeah. Well, look at the two of you that you look back and um, Michael, I mean, mm -hmm. what's he done lately? I don't know. <laughs> What a cool thing. And then that you would, act, you go from makeup and, and hair, mm -hmm. per, hair designer to acting, mm -hmm. to producing, to and directing. directing. Yeah. It's, it's really, that's it's it's, incredible. It's fun. Yeah, it's well, good. The, well, it's, I mean, like. I mean, the run you've had has been. Yeah. It, so, Pretty good. So now Duplex. Yes, Duplex tell is Tell us out. about Duplex. It's in the theaters now. It's with Ben Stiller and Drew Barrymore and Eileen Essel, who is like this. 80-year-old woman who is, like, brilliant. Hysterical. She's, a, she's really she, yeah. an hysterical...